YouTube's latest wave of demonetizing and deleting channels is because of, you guessed it, hurt feelings. Of course, this doesn't affect me because I've been demonetized and shadow banned for quite some time, so feel free to contribute through the link below. It all started from Vox's Carlos Maza, a person on a huge platform owned by NBC, complaining to YouTube about Steven Crowder being mean to him. Now right off the bat, why did Crowder say things about him? Because he's trying to get Crowder deplatformed. YouTube started by stating that while Crowder's words and videos may be hurtful or offensive, they don't endorse the viewpoint, and if it doesn't break any rules, then it gets to stay on YouTube. And then the next day, they did a complete 180 and demonetized him. So even though he didn't commit any violations, he's demonetized anyways. Why? Because of super vague rules and insane media pressure. So why is the media pressuring YouTube to demonetize and deplatform other people? Because they want to eliminate their competition, that's why. Here's what YouTube linked to when they announced that Steven Crowder would be demonetized. A blog post from 2018 on how certain people can harm YouTube's image even if they aren't breaking the rules. So they'll communicate with them quickly and be more transparent. Of course, if you ask them why you can't be monetized, they can't tell you. And if you ask why not, they'll send you a link to a survey. So transparent and not at all demeaning or insulting. Keeping in mind, of course, that on a recent live stream, Steven Crowder received an email from YouTube outlining which of his videos violated their policies. They weren't really legit reasons, but it still shows they're willing to lie. The older blog post goes on to explain why they shadow ban people, removing them from recommendeds and the homepage. They even explain how they've been doing this through a pilot program in 2019 and wish to expand it further in the days and years to come. Of course, shadow banning and delisting has been going on for a long time, many creators know. Especially me, somehow I've had a higher reach with 10,000 subscribers than I do now. Even though it's pretty obvious, I've only gotten more handsome and more entertaining as time has gone on. <laughs> but don't worry, they believe strongly in freedom of expression. Don't forget that this Carlos Maza guy has advocated for violence as well as straight up said that he wants people deplatformed, with his colleagues and himself saying, Demonetizing is worse than doing nothing. Figure that one out. People are expectedly and understandably not happy about this. This is all an attempt to silence the competition and opinions that go against the mainstream narrative and could hurt the mainstream's message, causing them to lose more ground in the culture wars and more elections. This becomes increasingly more and more obvious when they openly shadow ban, demonetize, and silence people who they've admitted haven't broken the rules at all all while pushing multi-billion dollar news organizations to the top of everyone's feeds artificially. They're going against their own rules because they're not, there apparently aren't any, and pushing organizations to the top of everyone's feeds, breaking their own algorithms artificially, just to prevent alternative voices from spreading and gaining ground and becoming more popular than they already are. It's time to wake up to these things as a large population. It's time to realize that these things are cur curated on purpose. The things that are shown to you are shown to you on purpose. Nothing in the digital sphere of social media, YouTube, Instagram is shown to you by accident. And remember, all these things started as conspiracies from Alex Jones or Project Veritas, the shadow banning, the delisting, and now it's pretty much their policy. In fact, it's not even their policy. It's just suggested things that they do extremely vaguely, so they can do it without having any real standards. They're literally banning people for not even breaking rules, but coming close to breaking rules. It's time for everybody to get real.